Okay, here is another absolute value equation. Uh, again, we're going to use the formula. Um, so this e e either equals the opposite of x plus 2, or it equals x plus 2. This e equals x minus 1 on both of these, or it equals the opposite of x minus 1. Okay, let's take this down a bit farther. And that'll be on both of these. Okay, so we end up with four possible equations to look at. And we have to find out what thing satisfies all of these possibilities. Okay, this is the opposite of x, the opposite of 2, plus x, minus 1, greater than 3. These guys cancel. We end up with negative 3, greater than 3, which is never true. Here we get x plus 2, plus x minus 1 is greater than 3. So we get 2x. Uh, plus 1 is greater than 3. Take the 1 to the other side. 2x is greater than 3 minus 1. And we do come out with an answer this time when we divide both sides by 2. We get x is greater than 1. This one, the opposite of x, the opposite of 2, the opposite of x, the opposite of negative 1 is greater than 3. Negative 2x minus 1 is greater than 3. Negative 2x is greater than 3 plus 1. And now if we divide both sides by a negative, please remember that that is going to switch around. And this will give us x is less than, let's divide that by a negative, negative 2. This one, x plus 2, the opposite of x, the opposite of negative 1, is greater than 3. We get 3 is greater than 3, because these two guys cancel, and uh, that never works as well. Okay, so we get two nevers here, and uh, we get an x less than a negative 2 and an x greater than a 1. Okay, so here are our final two answers. x greater than 1 or x less than negative 2. Okay, either one of those answers, if x is within that range, then it will solve the original equation. Okay, um, and that's the solution to that.